Well, I just finished unloading. Man, uh, if you can see, all that dust is out there blowing around. Really, really dusty. I'm covered, and I can't wait to get a shower. <laughs> That's for sure. Getting ready to roll out. I got just got to put on paperwork, uh, put up all my equipment. I just got to cover my blower as soon as I turn off the PTO. Fill out, uh, fill out the paperwork, get a signature, give them their copy, and then I can get out of here. Woo! Hey. I don't know if you can see, but those little circles there, that's from my filters. I just shook it out. sand going on today that little cool front that we got coming in had some uh, not high winds but pretty consistent breezy winds and uh, on top of that uh, the movers are pretty much almost full so everybody's unloading is, is kind of kicking up more sand than usual so that's floating up in the air and I believe they're running the movers right now so yeah, there's a lot. It almost seems like you're in a fog. That's how much sand is in the air. Well, that's why you need these. That way you're not breathing in all that sand, that silica. It's, uh, that's bad for you. All right, I just got my paperwork uh, filled out and getting ready to roll. Good morning, guys. It's uh, 2.50 in the morning. I got a call at uh, 2.36 a.m and got another load same thing going to crosby and uh taking to burton texas we're getting pretty close to the end here uh, they might be done with the well tomorrow we we're thinking today but it's most look like it's most likely going to be tomorrow but uh today is going to be my last day uh, and i'm going to take off for the holidays so i'm tired I got maybe three hours sleep. As soon as I have the bed, oh gosh, like 10.30, like 20 minutes later I get a call saying, hey, are you ready for load? I was like, oh no, wait a minute. Sorry, I looked at the, the, the computer wrong. Uh, you're not supposed to be ready till midnight. And I, actually, I said, well, actually, can you push it to two? And uh, here we are, two. 36 they call me so uh, I got actually I gained hours and uh, yesterday I had like three hours and 40 minutes of my 70 hour cycle and uh, I got some hours back now I'm back to 10 hours and 50 minutes so I'll have plenty of time for this load so no worries there and even after I was be done from the well I would just use personal convenience to head back home uh, all right let's roll all right so I'm lucky today I'll let you know why well, I'm doing the pre-trip making sure my valves are closed so that way when uh, I get some new sand dumped in it doesn't auto quickly just fill up the pipe and clog it as soon as I begin uh, so make sure always make sure after you're done unloading you close all your valves and make sure it stays closed because uh, once you if you leave that open it's gonna fill up the pipe and it's most likely gonna clog it as soon as you even start unloading so always make sure of that that's the middle hopper and that's the one that's closest to the cab. This one here, that's where all the air comes and blows out the sand that's coming down from the hoppers all the way out to the back. And I'll let you know why I'm lucky.
because apparently I didn't get all my tools. I accidentally left that one there. And it rode, was it, uh, 110 miles from the well to here. And I got lucky and because it stayed here. So I'm trying to do that again. Um, this is my blower here. I'm gonna hook, what I would do is hook up that hose there. There it goes down here. And you have the option to go to your aerators or go straight to the top of the vent. This is to release pressure. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but right there where it ends that there's there's it doesn't continue down further or anything like that that's it that's the end of the pipe it just it's just open this is the one you would use to release pressure if you have too much some customers um they don't want you to go above a certain psi and my gauges on this trailer are right here This one here tells you how much PSI is in the actual tank, which is above the sand. Uh, this is the one we wanted to have stay around 10. Uh, some customers are okay with up to two, uh, 12, but the customer that we have today, they want it to be at 10 or below. This is going to tell you the amount of, pretty much the amount of sand that's inside the, the line. The, the unloading hose we want it to be around the same at 10 so and it's gonna be going up and down like this that's a good sign that's that's kind of also let you know that the sand is moving if you ever see it to go above 10 and start building and then all of a sudden just if it just keeps going up above that that's letting you know that there is uh, too much sand in the line and you're probably going to be moments away from getting a clogged line. This one here uh, tells you how pretty much about how much uh, sand is in there. Uh, usually by the time I'm loaded I got about 75 psi or above. Um, I'm going to have a full load and it'll just gradually go down. I kind of use this to kind of gauge of how much you know, if, if, if it's flowing pretty good it'll go about 10 psi per 10 minutes so if it's going any slower than that and I'm, I start looking around it's like okay what's going on is something not open or is something open it's not blowing enough air or my rpms going down for my blower you know so I, I, I'll use that gauge to kind of determine whether we're on schedule because it takes uh, pretty much an hour uh, to unload a full full load of like 45,000 pounds of sand. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you that. All right, I'm getting her warmed up, finish up my pre-trip, and then we'll get rolling. <laughs> 